It goes without saying that wherever you ride, you want to be riding on a bike that's safe. Whether you're an experienced rider or a novice, it's a good idea to know how to carry out a basic safety check on your bike. The M-check is so called because of the way it progresses along the bike. You don't have to do it in this way, but being methodical makes it harder to miss a spot. It's best to perform all checks on a clean bike, so you may want to give it a wash or wipe down before you start. Starting at the front of the bike, check the wheel mounting system is in place. These days, it'll usually be a quick release or some kind of bolt through axle. Bolt through axles will usually be threaded through the hub and screwed into the opposing fork leg. Before riding, you need to make sure the closure system is secured as per manufacturer instructions. If your bike uses quick release levers, secure them by clamping the lever down and turning the nut until it's tight. Then open the lever and give the nut another full turn or so. You should now be able to tighten the quick release firmly without forcing it, ensuring that the wheel is firmly seated in the dropouts. Next, check the hub is in good condition by rocking the wheel side to side to check for any play or sideways movement. Give the wheel a spin. Our wheel sounds fine, but if there's something grinding in yours or it sounds rough, it might be time for a bearing replacement or service. While you're spinning the wheel, check the disc or wheel rim is running cleanly through the brake caliper. If it's rubbing, then you'll need to adjust the brakes. There are links to videos that cover these procedures in the description below. Finally, give the brake levers a squeeze to check the brakes are working correctly. If you notice a slightly more spongy feeling with hydraulic brakes, they might require bleeding. If your cable pull brakes don't feel firm and decisive, then you may need to adjust your cable tension or replace your brake pads. Tires need to be correctly seated in the rim. Examine the bead where the tire contacts the wheel rim. Make sure the bead looks uniform all the way around. If not, you may need to reinstall the tire. When you're happy the tire is seated, check the sidewalls and tread for excess wear or damage. Warm tires can be dangerous, so replace before riding if in any doubt. Most bike tires don't have wear markers, so you're going to need to use your initiative. For road tires, you'll start to notice a flat spot and seeing carcass is a definite sign they need replacing. Mountain bikes suffer degradation to the knobs and when they're gone, the tire is pretty useless and will definitely need replacing. Next, inspect your fork for hairline cracks or any other kind of damage. If you have a suspension fork, then check the stanchions for scratches or for excessive suspension fluid near the bottom bolts. It's worth noting that a small amount of oil on the stanchions, or a witness mark as it's known, is perfectly normal and expected on some forks. With front and rear air suspension, it's also worth checking if sag is correctly set about once a month. Moving up to the headset, rock the fork forwards and back with the front brake applied to see if there is any obvious play. If you notice the bike knocking, try and isolate where it's coming from by placing your fingers on the joints. Next, lift the wheel and turn the bars slowly. If you feel any grinding or resistance, it might be a good idea to service your headset. Check the stem is secure by holding the front wheel straight with your knees and pushing on the bars. You should be able to apply a reasonable amount of force without the stem turning on the steerer tube. Stand over the bike and rotate the bars forward and back. If you have drop handlebars, push on those too. There should be no movement of the bars or the grips. If the contact points are easily movable, then it might be a good time to replace the grips or bar tape on your bike. On bikes with flat handlebars, you should also check that the brake levers are securely fixed. Moving down the frame, check any accessories like a bottle and cage are attached properly and not rattling. You'll also want to visually inspect the entire frame, especially around the welds, if applicable. If you find even a small hairline crack, then you should get it checked out by a professional. If you have a suspension frame, check the shock mounting bolts are holding it firmly in place and the shock is in good working order, as with the fork. Give the cranks a spin in the backwards direction. As long as the drivetrain is running smoothly, the bottom bracket should be doing the same. 
Inspect the chain rings for damaged, missing or excessively worn teeth. Rock the cranks towards the frame to check for any grinding, resistance or play, which may mean you need to replace the bottom bracket. Check your pedals by giving them a spin. A well-serviced pedal won't spin freely as the grease should stop it. Again, check for play by rocking the pedal body. If you find your pedal is not performing correctly, it'll need to be serviced or replaced. If you have clipless pedals, check the metal or plastic cleat is not overly worn, it's securely bolted and will clip in and out with your preferred resistance. Remove the seat post from the frame and give it a clean. If you have aluminium, titanium or steel components, apply some grease before reinstalling. If you have either a carbon frame or seat post, you'll need to apply a specific carbon grease. When the seat post is reinstalled, check the saddle is securely mounted in the clamp and is in the horizontal position. Repeat the procedure performed on the front wheel at the back, checking the hub, tyres and brakes for play, effectiveness, rubbing and wear. Pedal by hand and check that the chain runs cleanly with no stiff links. Shift the front and rear derailleurs through the range of gears. The chain should shift up or down one set of teeth for every click of the relevant shifter. If the chain doesn't shift in this way, is hesitant or drops off the teeth, then you may need to make some adjustments. Regular pre and post ride checks are important, but getting to know your bike can mean you identify problems as soon as or even before they arise. Keep an eye out for irregular mechanical noises, frame creaks or unusual behaviour while riding and check them out as soon as possible. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the rest of the channel. Let us know what you want more of on your bike radar.